Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about assets. So I will be discussing a more about the points that were mentioned on the slide. I'll talk about what are assets and why we have to use them and how to confine assets or to a specific robot and what are various types of assets that we have. And I'm gonna show how we can create assets in the orchestrator and along with that, how to access them into the studio from orchestrator. So on a high level to make you understand what our assets actually is in simple terms these are kind of variables that are used to store information so then if there are variables why we are calling them as assets and why we have to store that value in the assets so basically if you observe in any time any real time project so we have the sensitive information that we are dealing with so in that case it's not advisable to store that data into variables or arguments so in such case uh, if you use assets so that provides extra level of security so that's why we have to go for assets over variables and arguments for storing the information so before i talk about the remaining points i would like to show how we can create assets in the orchestrator and how we have different types and how we can confine that access to a specific robot while working them into the orchestrator. So I'm here in the default folder of my orchestrator and I have uh, I'm in the assets tab. So you can see that I have an option to add the assets from here. So I'm clicking here and I'm going to create an asset with the name. You can give any of the name. So I would take a Gmail URL as the asset name. And if you just observe here, we, are different, we have different types of assets like text, Boolean, integer, and credential. So as most probably the URL would be of text. So I'm going here and giving the value, whatever the Gmail URL that you have to access in the form of the text. Let's give something like so gmail.com whatever so i'm giving the value here and make sure this value should not be in double quotations this should never be in the double quotations and let's suppose if you have a value of the boolean type so it gives you the radio button option true or false you can select it from here and if you wanted to pass an integer value you can change it to integer so you can just give whatever the integer value that you wanted to send but when I talk about the credential, you have the username and the password. So if you ask me how it provides the extra uh, security for the uh, variables, if you are using in the form of the assets. So this is a best example I can show you here. So let's suppose I wanted to give my username here. I can give the username which you can view, but the password you cannot view. Yeah, you can check it over from here, but you cannot view the password. Let's suppose I can uh, create a, a set with the credential and you can check the values showed as in credential store, but later in future, if you wanted to go and edit it, you cannot view the password that you have entered earlier. So that's how it is so secure to not reveal the password to any one of them that they are using the orchestrator. So in such way, it provides uh, of so much security. It uses a different algorithm called AES-256 algorithm in order to provide that extra security while storing the credentials. So that's how we can create. So let me just uh, show you. And one more thing is if you just observe, we have a global value here. So that means whatever the asset you're creating here that is accessed by all the robots that are there. But if you just remove this global value and you have to create at least one robot value is required. So I can create a value per robot. And I can give, let's suppose if it's a text. and I can share the username here along with the password, whatever the password I can give. So this value is accessed only by this specific robot and not by any of the robots apart from that. So that's how uh, we can uh, restrict the access to specific robot as well. And now I'm going to create one 
asset and I'm going to use that into my studio. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm giving one URL. So let's whatever it may be, you can just give or gmail.com something like this and I am creating it. So now I have to access this value from my studio. So this value should be uh, accessed by wherever I wanted to take that value into my studio. So let's see how we can do that. I have created one sequence. And into that sequence, I have an activity called as get asset. So I would pull this activity into this and you have to provide the asset name that you have defined it in the orchestrator. So this is my asset name that you can provide in the asset name field. And the value that you wanted to pull it out of this and I can say the variable that you wanted to be used as throughout your project. So let's suppose I wanted to give this variable name as like this. So this value I would be using throughout my project which contains the actual value of this from the asset. So let's see what it actually holds. So you can check the value by using right line or also in my previous videos, I have shown you how you can see the value while it is running. So for that, I would be running it in the debug mode and I would keep a breakpoint here. So let's debug this. So if you just observe, as soon as it has come here, you can just check the value of it from the immediate panel. So that value is str gmail URL. So it shows gmail.com, right? So that's how you can check or else you can also check the value by using the right line in the output window. So it shows gmail.com. And now this applies for all other different types, but in order to get the credential from this, first of all, let me just go and create one a set of type credential. So let's suppose Gmail cred is the asset name and it should be of credential. Let me just keep it global value and I would give a username harika.path at gmail.com and the password would be whatever and I am going to create it. So if you just observe, as I've said, you cannot see the password. And let me just copy this value from here so that I can use it in my studio. So to access the values of credentials from orchestrator, we have get credentials activity. So I would pull that over here. And just like the one we've did here, <clears throat> we can give the asset name. So the, it's Gmail cred, and you have to provide the username and the password variables that you wanted to access throughout your project with. So I will be giving from here, str username. And if you just observe, just hover on it, you can see the secure password of the retrieved credential. So I am going to show it from the variables panel. The username what I have created, it is a variable of type string. But if you wanted to see the password, so let me just create from here. So the shortcut to create is control K. You can press control K and uh, create it from here. So I will be giving secure string password. So I'm just checking the variable type from here. 
if you just observe the variable of type secure string is created for the password so it means that it is not a normal variable to provide the more security you can just check what type here system dot security dot secure string is the type of the variable that we have created to store the password that been created from the asset so let's see how this actually works so i will just copy this right line and we can check the value of username and we cannot check whatever the printed into the password i'll show you shortly how why we cannot do that let me just debug this and show you how it actually works so we have seen the gmail url and now i'm retrieving the credential from here and i have to check the username so if i can do this from the immediate panel it shows whatever the username that i have entered in the orchestrator asset and now to do the same with password if you observe it shows it's a secure string of length 9 but it will not actually reveal the password so this shows the extra level of security that is providing it here so no one actually can reveal or see your password so that's how we can deal with the sensitive information by using assets from orchestrator so that's all about this and one more thing i just wanted to mention here is in get credential or in the get asset activities if you just observe, we have the asset name, which is a hard coded value, but in real time projects, we never uh, do that hard coding. So we have to use a different approach for using uh, get assets and the get credentials in the real time projects. So that I would be showing in the next video, which is uh, under the playlist of RE framework. <clears throat> excuse me and you can uh, see how we can access this assets value from the config file so that uh, will be part of re framework playlist so that i would be releasing soon and do not miss any of my videos please do subscribe and stay tuned to my channel thank you so much for watching